Yamaha, the brand known for their expertise in sound, instruments, tuning, motor vehicles, watercraft, and I'm sure there's a lot more in there, has just announced a new brand for EVs called Alive. Yamaha wants to cash in on the EV revolution with their expertise in performance engineering, sound tuning, and manufacturing. Can Yamaha rev the robotic heart of an EV and claim it's alive? Let's find out. Now this story has been developing for over a year now. Back in February of 2020, Yamaha announced they're gonna be taking orders for electric motors. We had an update in April 2021, so just a couple months ago, saying that they have a new motor that is going to be insane, really designed for hypercars. Up to 350 kilowatts per motor, you can have four of them in a vehicle, and now they're showing off these motors under a new brand under Yamaha called Alive. Here we are, Yamaha Motor launches a live concept for automotive products and technologies, sound device and more to be displayed at Automotive Engineering Exposition 2021. If I lived in Japan, I'd be there to give you guys hands-on impressions. This is the best we can do though. Now let's talk about this brand name called Alive. They want to provide a unique EV experience to the potential customers. They're not making EVs, guys. They're making the parts for EVs, the electric motors, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, the suspension pieces, the tuning pieces, and a new sound replicator that we'll go into detail here as well in a little bit. But they want to make these vehicles, these electric vehicles that don't have the same character as an internal combustion engine. They don't have the same soul. They're definitely more efficient, they're more futuristic, but that also means that it sheds all of the unique characteristics. A controlled explosion going off thousands of times in a minute in a combustion engine. So they want to bring some sort of Frankenstein magic into electric vehicles, be able to create an electric monster here. This is the A for alpha, which is the beginning. So they want to be the beginning of electric vehicles with a soul. That's how I see their, this interpretation of this new sub-brand called Alive. You gotta realize the Asians are very, very specific and intentional when they create brand names and logos. So. Calling on their extensive know-how and expertise in developing and producing automobile engines. Well, they've helped with the V10 and the LFA. They helped with the Ford Taurus Shows engine back in the day. They've helped with the Volvo's V8 and the XC90 at one point in time. So applying these various accumulated resources at their disposal, the products and technologies under the new Alive brand, but also resonate with the senses and deliver a new mobility experience. So they want to create a unique experience, like I said, make you feel alive with electric vehicles. It begins with creating a unique sound to EVs. And guys, when we first heard Yamaha's electric motors having a unique sound, I'm all for it because I want to have some sort of feedback from the electric motors other than just G-forces. <laughs> But I'm sure if this is applied in a vehicle, it can be defeatable so you can have a fully quiet experience on the inside. The live AD sound device creates an emotion-filled driving experience and vehicle cabin by tuning the sound produced by the powertrain with a proprietary sound device. They say it can accurately replicate the rumble of a gas-powered engine or unique high frequency whine of an EV. Well, we've heard the EV whine and we know what they're capable with the LFA's V10 and the LS500's V8. Guys, I mean, maybe, maybe we could get the V10 sound inside of our EV with this sound replicator. I love how they use the word replicate. It feels like we're talking about sci-fi at this point in time, whether you're a Blade Runner fan Replicant might have a resonance with you as well as a Star Trek fan as they have the food replicators on their starships. Yamaha is bringing the future now with their sound replicators. Now we have an all new electric engine here that we haven't been shown before. This is a new package with a new power rating. This is a 50 kilowatt electric motor. Don't worry, we'll get into the spreadsheet here in a little bit, but 50 kilowatts is 67 horsepower and it's exciting because these things could be used by Toyota Honda, all the all the Japanese and pretty much essentially automakers in the world be like, oh yeah, Yamaha is really compact, high power efficient motors. I want to use it. And it achieves industry's top class and output density. I'd love to have this small motor 
on an electric bike, well, not, not a bicycle, but a motorbike, I say provides excellent cooling as well. And we got more information here on their hypercar motor, the 350 kilowatt motor. This unit is what you're seeing here. It's just two of them slapped together. This unit was designed envisioning use in high power mobility applications. The gear and inverter are integrated into a single unit and the motor is operable at voltage up to 800 volts developed in anticipation of using four units or other multi-unit variations in cars, maximum total output in a quad motor configuration reaches 1.47 megawatts. We're used to talking about kilowatts and horsepower in vehicles. Well, yeah, technically it's 1,470 kilowatts, but Yamaha's like, no, we're just going to make it sound ridiculous and and rate it in megawatts instead, which is approximately 2000 horsepower. This is more power guys than we thought was possible. Cause if you add up the 350 kilowatts times four, it doesn't come out to be about 2000 horsepower. So they gave us a new peak power output when you combine all of them, which is insane. So continuous power is like 1800 horsepower. We'll get into the spreadsheet in a little bit detailing all the motors, but we're not done with their suspension. Yamaha is phenomenal at suspension and tuning suspensions. And they wanna give automakers not only their pick at their electric motors, but the sound replicator and also suspension pieces to make their vehicles better. So we have an Alive PD, a performance damper. To me, I doubt it's much different than the performance damper that is seen in the TRD products. Or for example, I'm getting an LC500 convertible this week for review. I know I'm super excited, you guys are too. But it has an optional performance damper from Yamaha installed on it. So this absorbs body deformations, unpleasant noises, vibrations, etc., and creates a much higher quality and more comfortable ride. And they have a new Alive ET, a shock absorber unit, which uses a pulling force instead of a pushing force like traditional shock absorber. So if you guys can elaborate on that, because that's above my understanding of how shock absorption systems work put it down below but guys it's time to get into this spreadsheet i made this a while back but i just updated it with the new motor we have today we know for sure there's a 35 kilowatt motor it's really really tiny we've seen them advertise this all the way back in the original press release about their electric motors this little guy right here now this new motor down here the 50 kilowatt which is 67 horsepower you can stack four of them and a true torque vectoring all-wheel drive system with 268 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The torque is just my estimations. It could be higher, but we do know for sure horsepower and kilowatt numbers. Yamaha said they were also making motors up to 200 kilowatts at some point in time. So we could also have a 200 kilowatt motor, 150 kilowatt motor. So it's really kind of down to what the individual purchaser needs from Yamaha. I would say most manufacturers would be interested in these large 100 kilowatt motors, which is roughly 134 horsepower. You could put four of them in a vehicle, which was kind of alluded to in the Lexus LFZ electrified concept, which had 536 horsepower and went zero to 60 in three seconds. Now that's just a concept, but Toyota and Lexus could definitely use Yamaha electric motors in their EVs. I would suspect that they would use them in their super high performance EVs. That's just my guess. We know that Toyota and Lexus will probably be using the blue Nexus EVs that are kind of built in house. But what if we had some new F cars coming in the future that are really, really high performance and have industry leading performance per volume in these new Yamaha electric motors. I know a lot of us would be excited for that and they could use this sound synthesizer in an F car to give it a little bit more excitement. I, would, I see that to be really up Toyota and Lexus's alley as they want to not have boring cars and that could be tough to do with electric cars as they're just so quiet. The automotive landscape with these electric motors doesn't end with the automobiles. We're talking motorbikes, we're talking watercraft, we're talking watercraft motors, ATVs, possibly electric vertical takeoff and landing situations. I think these would be excellent for since they're so small. Guys, I think we'll see Yamaha do really, really well as 
they transition to an alive electric brand, at least with these electric motors and sound synthesizer, sound synthesizer and suspension pieces, I think they can make a very valid point in saying, oh, you, you should pick our electric motors over the competition. We'll give you a sound box and give you high performance shock absorbers and dampening devices for your suspension and maybe give them a discount if they buy them all. I think that makes sense. Yamaha really thrives in those specific areas that are one of the best in the world at those pieces. So guys, I'll end it there. I'll see you down in the comments on how you would like to see Yamaha do this electric business, this new Alive business, and what kind of electric vehicles do you wanna see them in? Which brands would you like to see them in? But I'll end it there. Make sure you're subscribed because I will update you on these Yamaha motors as we learn more. It's been a small trickle over the last year and a half with these motors and this new development from Yamaha, but I'm so excited to cover it. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. If you haven't, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.